Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. My name is Dion. I always put on chapstick after I start the video as if I don't know my lips are dry right. That's the crazy in the TCTN. Um, also, I sometimes I say things that don't make sense or I make up words or I'll start saying something and then completely forget what I was saying. <laughs> um, troll because, as you can see, with no face paint, I am. I clean up kind of well, I think, but still a troll, nonetheless. Today is about some BoxyCharm shenanigans. This is a premium box. Okay, let me tell you what happened. I, I think it was in October. I was on the wait list for the premium box. I canceled Ipsy, excuse me, and then I decided to go ahead and cancel my BoxyCharm base box. And I saw that I was on a wait list for the premium, but because you had to be a subscriber for the base box in order to even opt in for the premium box, I thought, number one, that I did opt out of or canceled the wait list. Or I thought, number two, if I canceled the base box, that would completely eliminate me from all boxy charm boxes. Not so. Remember, this was in October. October? This was in November. Okay, when I canceled the, the base box subscription. So I thought it would cancel everything out. January 1st, I received an email saying, congratulations, um, you're receiving your premium box. Um, your account has been charged $35. And I'm just like, huh? Like, wait a minute, what? I don't want box and charm anymore. That's why I canceled the subscription. And it also said that the choice window was going to be open November 14th. And I'm like, okay, today is January 1st. Not today, but the day when I got the email. So I'm like, maybe they're just trying to get rid of December boxes. And so I was really annoyed. And so I sent an email saying, you know, can you refund me my money? I do not want BoxyCharm. Um, I canceled my subscription. And they wrote back within, I think, like three business days saying that they looked into my account. They saw that I canceled the base box, but I did not cancel the wait list for the premium box. And that I would indeed be receiving January's premium box <laughs> um but that they did see that on the first i did cancel the premium box and so i'm just like okay so today is oh gosh i think today is january 11th and so this was sitting outside my door today so we're going to open it i'm not happy about it um i guess silly me for thinking Canceling BoxyCharm base box would eliminate me from receiving the waitlisted premium box. But still, I canceled that in November. So December, no base box, no premium box, nothing. And then January 1st, I get an email saying, congratulations, you're getting your premium box. And then they have the choice window for November 14th and it's January 1st. And then they tell me I'm receiving January's box. So I was just like annoyed and confused. And honestly, I'm kind of ticked off. Um, so I'm just doing this and I still don't feel well. You, can, you may be able to hear it in my voice. This is, um, I'm not sure you, I'm sure you've seen these on YouTube already, what the box looks like. So I'm going to just try and get into it really quick. So I don't feel well. I need to eat. I'm feeling lightheaded. I haven't really been taking good care of myself today. I was out, um, grocery shopping and I did an exchange at Ulta and I haven't eaten anything except an apple. And so I'm feeling just really weird on top of feeling sick. TMI. Huh. So this is variation number 31. I know you can't see it, but that's what it says down here in the corner. I'm looking on here. There's Too Faced stuff. I don't like Too Faced. There's a skincare thing. Keep it clear acne foam cleanser. Uh, there's a Varsali liquid glass radiance serum. There's a Kat Von D eyeshadow. There's a Bliss Pore. Patrol Mask, Deep Detox, blah, 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 and Billion Dollar Brows bestseller kit. So I'm just, I just read off of here. So this way I'm just going, which I was amazingly surprised. I was amazingly surprised. See, that's the crazy stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. Surprisingly, I was able to read this without my reading glasses on. And so I'm going to take the foam out the box. I am just annoyed. So this is the Bliss Poor Patrol Deep Detox 4 Clay Souffle Mask. The last box, I gave everything away. I think I took it to Goodwill or something. So this is what that looks like. And I'm not... You know, I, I asked someone that I know if they wanted that stuff. And they said no. So that BoxyCharm, like everything... 
went to Goodwill in the trash. This is the Kat Von D eyeshadow. And this is what that looks like. And so I'm just fed up with these subscription boxes. And also another thing that started turning me off is when I started thinking about, okay, how are they affording these things? And then learning that they're changing some of the ingredients for the BoxyCharm boxes, subscription boxes in general probably. Like if you go to buy something that says Tylenol, there'll be a store-bought brand that has the same active ingredient. Okay, it's the same active ingredient, yes, but then there's other things that may be in there or they may take something out that's not in the, the name brand product. It may still work the same or it may not. And so they're dummying down, for lack of a better word, some of the ingredients that they're putting in these products that they're passing off as name brand and so I'm, I'm just fed up with that and i'm just going to stick to stuff that i know that know that i like and if i buy something and i don't like it i'll return it this is the tool of skin care keep it clear active foam cleanser i'm not even going to try any of this um i'll see if my partner wants to try some of this face stuff but his skin is sensitive like mine too i don't think i don't think his is as sensitive as mine and i do not like too face just like i do not like tart um, I'm just not at all excited about any of this. <laughs> I'm really not. And I know some people, some people love Too Faced and they love Tarte. So I just opened the, the Tarte eyeshadow box. And I know people love these brands. Um, and it has a card in here. Shows you looks that you can do. Which is quite nice that they have this but i have other looking just glancing at this i have other sh other shadow palettes that i can do these looks with and i think the packaging is for children like i'm 50 years old not children but i guess like um i'll say the younger generation so this is and that's another thing i hate with Too face is that they put a fragrance like i i i even if i liked uh, even if I had wanted to use this, I wouldn't because eyeshadows with fragrance usually end up irritating my eyes. But this is what the palette looks like, and it is very pretty. It is. But take the fragrance out of stuff. And if you want to send stuff to a 50-year-old, you know, make it look like it's for a 50-year-old. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I know, I know I'm just being really irritable right now, and I know they can't hear me and they don't know me. Um... I'm just a little peeved because I didn't want this box. This is the <laughs> ah, the brow billion dollar which a jigget brow thing. And I'm not I don't want any of this stuff. I really honestly don't. If I had more subscribers, I would do a giveaway and just be like, hey, who wants this? So this is a brush that came with it. To do your brows. This appears to be uh, brow duo pencil concealer and highlighter I'm not opening any of this stuff this is a brow pencil there's a spoolie on this end and the color is I don't know if, I'm, if I put my reading glasses on I can probably find it <laughs> so I don't know what color this is and then there is a brow gel I might try a brow gel but you see my brows like I don't have any but I do but my brows are pretty tame so I don't I'll see if my partner wants to use that. Um, he's been experimenting with some things. Actually, well, he has the red hair, so I don't know about this, but I'll let him, sh I'll ask if he wants to try the brow gel. Ugh. Thank you to my new subscribers. I am sweating. It's like 68 degrees right now, and it is 7.40 at night. I don't know if, it's, if a storm is about to come or what. I was just at ShopRite. And you would think that the end of the world is coming. It was so many people. This is the Varsali liquid glass. This I may try. I'm going to look up the ingredients and see if it is the same one that's in um, Sephora or not. As far as the ingredients. Did I just say that? So this is what this looks like. Varsali liquid glass radiant serum with... Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but I will read it to you later. Well, no, I'm not going to read it to you later. You know, I'm going to read it right now real quick. Because this is the only thing I'm interested in in this. And because th this brand is expensive, I'm wondering if this is the actual one that you can buy at Sephora. 
or anywhere else. So I'm going to look up the ingredient list and see. Directions used as a radiating skin serum or as a primer before makeup application may be applied prior to, mixed with, or layered on top of skincare or makeup for a luminous finish. Caution for external use only. So that's what this says. But I'm going to look up, I'm like I just said probably like four times. I'm going to look up the ingredients and see if it is the same one on the Varsali website and also on the Sephora website and see. So that's everything in this box except the foam at the bottom. And thank you guys for watching. Um, you can leave comments if you receive the box, if you have the premium, if you wanted the premium, if you're on the wait list, how you're feeling about um, these subscription boxes, putting in different ingredients or removing ingredients from items that you can purchase outside of the subscription boxes. Let me know how you're feeling about that. Because um, they have to make their money some kind of way. And so that's been a question I had was, how are they able to do this? And that's how they were able to do it because they're using less expensive products, well, ingredients and products that they're making specifically for these boxes. And I don't like the deception. Don't tell me this is such and such, and it's the same exact name, but it's not the same exact formula. To me, that's deceptive, and I don't like that. So anyway, thank you for watching, and hopefully next time you see me, <laughs> I will have face paint on. Um, I won't be as trollish and hopefully I will be well because I am just sick of being sick. And so thank you guys. And if you enjoy this, if you find me amusing, if you just find me like whatever, entertaining, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell. I think I'm going to try and upload videos on Saturdays or if I do a video during the week, just schedule it to upload on a Saturday. Um, my makeup brush collection one and two I have scheduled for Saturdays. And the other day I did the video and then this one I want to go ahead and get out because it is um, the second week in January. It is about the BoxyCharm stuff. And so it's going to seem like I have a lot of videos coming out this week. But typically, um, at least every Saturday, I'll say I will have a video scheduled for upload. Um, I need to still finish um, the rows and columns and the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Um, if you haven't seen those, feel free to check them out on my channel. And I am babbling, and I'm going to go eat something before I pass out. That would not be good to do on camera. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> and my double chin is hanging. Bye. And my double bags. This is matching legs on that side. I am so sick. So I'm gonna go like this. Cover it up. Thanks for watching. And now this one's coming out. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this is the craziest TCT. Thank you. Not the finger. Okay. Bye.